Before dawn on the last day of April 1945 the Soviet troops approached the main central sector into which Berlin was divided during the planning of the final military operation to capture the main object of the Nazis, the German Parliament Building. Breaking through the last defenses of the Nazis on the way to the great victory, the storming of the Reichstag The Reichstag was extremely carefully fortified. Windows and doorways were filled with strong burnt bricks. Only small embrasures were left for aiming fire at the advancing Soviet fighters. The Nazis, entrenched in the main fortress of Berlin, were supported by artillery aimed at the Brandenburg Gate. In total in the main, 9th, sector of the German capital defended about 5,000 Nazis. Breakthrough of the last Hitlerite defense on the way to the great victory. The Reichstag storm. The Red Army soldiers were working under the cover of more than a thousand artillery pieces, conducting almost continuous fire on enemy firing positions. Part of the installations in search of safe areas the Red Army men set up on the second floor of the government building located near the Reichstag. At the end of the day of heavy fighting our soldiers managed to break through the gap in the defense of the main building of the Nazis. The night of May Day passed in the conditions of close combat when one by one the enemy soldiers hiding in the Reichstag were destroyed. Each cleared section of the building was marked with red cloth or a flag. 200 Soviet soldiers made it to the first floor of the Reichstag but only 20 people made it to the top. Breakthrough of the last Hitlerite defense on the way to the great victory. Storm of the Reichstag by the morning of that day Soviet fighters Kantaria and Yegorov hoisted the Scarlet Victory banner over the German parliament building marking the capture of the main goal of the final operation.